for coming back. We're now going to hear from Dan Dell, who is running for Norris Public Power District Subdivision 4 for re-election. I'd like to remind everybody that we are being broadcast live on Channel 9, and this is also being videotaped, and it will be shown several times between now and election time on November 6th. Questions asked tonight were submitted to the Beatrice Chamber of Commerce from the community. If anybody in the audience would like to submit a question, please write it down on a piece of paper and give it to one of the assistants who will bring it up front. Dan's going to get two minutes to introduce himself, and he's going to get one minute for each question we're going to give him. Dan, would you like to start off with your introduction? Yes, I will. And I am Dan Dell, and, I'm, and I live eight miles east of Beatrice, and I farm. I am running for the uh, Norris Public Power District, Subdivision 4, upon which there are uh, 11 uh, districts in our, in our uh, utility service. My wife, uh, Diana, and I have been married for 33 years, had three grown children together, and I would like to thank my wife for helping with my campaign flyers. She's very creative. She uh, has a scrapbook store downtown, does very well. She's very successful. And like they say, uh, behind every successful man, there's a good woman. And believe me, she is a good woman. Um, a few points I have here that I'd like to make. Um, really enjoyed uh, my uh, 12 years with Norris uh, that I've uh, served so far. and. Um, well, what I really feel is I, I really want to be committed to good service. I think people really like to like good service. Uh, I, and I just um, feel that that's almost a top priority next to getting the best rates possible for our people uh, in, our, in our district. Uh, I feel I'm very accessible and approachable to my customers. I also value teamwork with my fellow board members. I feel that it's really good to have a, a board you can work with. We've been to several uh, classes. We take several classes on different things like that, and it's, it's a good education. I have served as past president for Norris, vice president, and been on the safety committee. I have attended at least 95% of the meetings the last six years, and I have been a leader in the community as I have served on the Beatrice School Board. This is kind of my own stomping grounds. FSA board, the township board, and, cur sir and currently serving on my church council. She said stop, so I quit. All right, thank you, Mr. Dell. We're going to get right into questions. What do you consider uh, are the most important issues in public power at this time? Well, I, like I said, I think uh, good service and, and your rates. I just feel that... Uh, or a kilowatt is eight cents, and um, I just I think it's a, a good a good rate for now. Um, a lot of our rates are tied with uh, uh, Nebraska Public Power. They uh, set we buy that buy from them, and um, electricity is just a everyday thing. I mean, you just you just live with electricity with about everything you do. So sure. What do you consider is the most uh, significant long-term goal for public power in the state of Nebraska? Uh, long-term goal. Like stumping here in uh, the state of Nebraska, I think we we uh, Norris Public Power, I think, work really well with other di other districts, and I I think that we we have uh, meetings. Uh, three or four times a year and, and uh, at different areas in the, in the state. And I think it's really good to keep our districts uh, really communicating well, working, working well together. Okay. Uh, Norris Public Power District has incurred annual rate increases from Nebraska Public Power, their wholesale power supplier, resulting in rate increases, increases to Norris customers. What would you propose is the best approach in dealing with ongoing rate increases? Well, trying to trying to keep them low. Uh, Norse, uh, as Nebraska Public Power has increased their rates, we have not gone uh, normally to as high as they have increased. Um, 
this year they're talking about 3.75 and we're, we're talking about trying to keep it down to 2% and and so we're not we're, we're always trying to stay at underneath them we're, we're, we're not uh, gonna try to keep up with them I guess I'll say <laughs> anyhow so we'll expand on that question a little bit are there any other suppliers that are available that we could look at um, I, I don't know that uh, Nor Norris has really uh, looked at that I don't know that we're really interested in doing that at this time okay Renewable energy is a topic of focus throughout the United States. What is your stance on renewable energy sources? And if you support, how do you foresee overcoming the hurdles that are associated with it? Well, I think a lot of them are looking at uh, wind, wind and wind turbines. Um, it, it, they, they have their place. Uh, a little bit of problem with the wind is uh, it doesn't blow every day. When it was hotter than blazes last summer, why they were sitting still. And uh, so it's a little hard for the, them to put out uh, the energy. Um, Nebraska's problem is we don't have the grants like Iowa does. And uh, so it's a little hard for us to, um, to pursue that, uh, the windmill en energy. Um, another thing is if you, if you do, you have to have a way to wheel it uh, to get it to another state because we seem to have enough right now. But, and if we start producing more than we can handle we need uh, power lines to uh, land lines to move that out of the state and sell it to other states so I'm I mean I mean uh, by 2020 I believe it is uh, the country is supposed to have 10 percent already like, um, it's supposed to be 10 percent green I guess I'll call it okay uh, why do you feel that you are the best candidate to serve on the Norris Public Power District Board of Directors I, I just feel I really have a passion for electricity. Uh, I'm the fourth generation to serve on the board. Um, my great grandfather was one of the original uh, board members, and um, I just like I like I said before, I think it's just in your everyday life, electricity is, and it's just amazing what they're what they're doing doing with it, uh, along with <clears throat> along with te technology. Is um, you know they can shut meters off from the office different uh, uh, at different residential places if they don't pay their bills unfortunately and and uh, nobody likes to do that including us and uh, but it's it's just amazing what what you can do with it el with electricity um, like I say I just really work to strive for for cheaper rates and and service okay. that's what I really what I really work for uh -huh. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Why don't you give us a two-minute closing on that? <laughs> um, like I say, I really, I've really enjoyed my 12 years. It's, it's been a, a real learning experience. Uh, we, thir we serve over 3,500 square miles. Uh, we have uh, 5,000 miles worth of uh, transmission line. Uh, since I've been on the board, uh, Twelve years ago, when I started, our rev revenues were about 30 million. Now they're 66 million, uh, and we don't set on that money. We make about six million, seven million. We we use that to pay down debt, to uh, improve capital, uh, for capital expenses. Uh, so it's it's not like we we hoard our money. We uh, we make improvements. I think one of the challenges will be to keep our capital inputs. Uh, uh, going, uh, working on structures, yeah, it's a it's an ongoing thing, um, and uh, I think you know uh, just making uh, better landlines too, and keeping keeping up <laughs> with the technology in in the electrical industry. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dell, and the Beatrice Chamber of Commerce would like to thank you for coming down and sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, we're going to take a break here for a few minutes, and we're going to come back and with the uh, Gage County Board of Supervisors District 2.